Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you all are doing great. Myself, Vandana. I have completed my graduation and post-graduation in life science. I am from Uttarakhand and my current location is Dehradun, Uttarakhand. <coughs> Thank you for giving me such a great opportunity. So today we will going to discuss about cell. Within this topic, particularly we will learn about types of cell. So let's get started. First of all, what is cell? Every time we talk about cell, we talk uh, we talk about structural and functional unit or we call it the basic structural and functional unit of life. Why we call it a structural and functional? Because of all the living organisms are made up of cell and all the uh, vital activities which are essential for life are uh, done within a cell. That's why we call it structural and functional unit of life or fundamental unit of life. And the cell was discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. This is a dead cell. Dead cells means, what it means? Dead cells means the cell which is metabolically inactive or there is no activities or no biochemical activities within cell. Uh, the living cell. When we talk about living cell, the first living cell which is discovered or Anthony von Leeuwenhoek is the scientist who discovered first living cell and the cell was a bacteria or a bacterial cell was discovered first. So in uh, 1674 Anthony von Leeuwenhoek discovered first living cell which is a bacteria. In our biological universe we show different kind of cells uh, for example nerve cells, bone cell or a ovum cell, sperm cell or uh, muscle cell. There are uh, different different kind of cells but uh, within the uh, different different kind of cells uh, the cells have different different symmetry or we can say different size different shape different different function they perform but there are two major categories of cells or we can uh, we divide cells within two major categories there are two main category of cells we divide one is prokaryotic and other is eukaryotic. So this classification of cell is on the basis of nucleus. We can say on the basis of nucleus there are two types of cells. One is prokaryotic and another one is eukaryotic cell. So let us understand about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. So first of all let's talk about prokaryotic. Prokaryotic, the word originated from Greek language, which made up of two words, pro plus carrion, where pro means primitive or old one, and carrion or karyotic, or we can say it kernel, which means nucleus. It means prokaryotic cell is the cell which have a primitive type of nucleus or without nucleus. Remember, there is no nucleus, or a, we can say there is a nucleus present but primitive type of nucleus not a true nucleus or uh, we can say the nucleus of prokaryotic cell we call nucleoid or incipient nucleus what we call it there is no nucleus but nucleus like structure is present which we call nucleoid or incipient nucleus and the example of prokaryotic cells are bacteria blue green algae ppelo mycoplasma or ppelo ppelo also known as mycoplasma ppelo full form is pleuronemonia like organism these are the uh, example of prokaryotic cell let's move on eukaryotic so what is eukaryotic cell eukaryotic word is also originated from greek language where you you means true and carrion or kernel or karyotic means nucleus. So we can say a eukaryotic cell is the cell which have a true nucleus or a fully developed or a well developed nucleus. Uh, example of eukaryotic cells are cells of higher animal and plant. We humans, animals, uh, cat, dog, lion, deer, all are eukaryotes or all have eukaryotic cells. I hope you understand. Thank you.